So, what do you do when the seller calls? So, if you miss this, I'm giving you every step right now in line. So, again, I'm Carrie Good, ourgirlmedia.com. If you are watching for the first time, please make sure you're on YouTube, you subscribe if you're watching my uh, listening to podcasts, if you're subscribing, if you're new to me on Instagram, please make sure you follow me every Friday. Right now, I'm going live or talk to the here. So I, I'm, I'm literally, I'm, I'm reading my notes from the new real estate agent stuff. I'm really reading my notes from never know. I'm really checking. Um, my recommendation, if you're taking notes in the state agent journal, I would jump to the section on running a business like a business around page 140. To running a business. So number one, someone calls you to list their house. Again, if I know you, I'm having a basic conversation, and then I'm getting questions. So I'm going traditional with this sheet of paper. You could open up a Google survey and fill out all of these same questions. So you listen, on with traditional, but I know what works. I could probably, and again, I could do this without the form. Number two, schedule an appointment. So at the end, you need to have here. Um, so when are you available to allow me to do your home? I'm available this Saturday at this time or this time, or on Monday at this time or this time. I just told you I'm not available this Sunday, right? Put the date and time, put it in your calendar or give put it my desk so you get a reminder. Number three, before you go to the appointment, I want you to go print the old listing sheet. If you are in the state of Illinois, go back to 1980 to find your listing sheet. I want you to look up the tax records and the history. Find Realist or RPR or CoreLogic or MLS Data Co-op, RPR, Real Choice Property Resource, is available to all of you. It is available to all of you that are real core members. <laughs> My bio or on Amazon. Um, we're going to number five, create um, a quick market analysis. Marketplace. Market analysis. Then number six, you're going to use data. Number six, um, you're going to use data. What software do you recommend for listing for our patient's office? My recommendation, I'm going to go with DocuSign, but if you do not have, I use DocuSign and DocuSign Rooms. There are other products like that, Pipeline or SkySlope. For our um, broker, they are like, I don't know what to use. My recommendation was to remind me to see it. So for me, it's here. Well, thank you very much for that. Um, Dr. Sano, start paper, start total paper. Start paper. So um, use market data. Here are the data sets you need. Month supply, days to contract or listing to contract, um, show, showings to contract. So listing to contract, average and median, how many days um, does it take to get the contract when you go live? And then showings for contract, how many showings get until you have a contract? Now I can tell you, look, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you should have between 10 and 20 showings, five and 10 days. And if we don't have a contract, we'll do it. But housing inventory and market time. So those are the data sets you need. For those of you that are watching this, I do have a post bar at class. All are welcome, doesn't matter what state you're uh, on smartgirlmedia.com under the calendar. It is an evening sponsored by organization. Number seven, start the draft in the multiple listing service. Do not publish it by mistake. Start the draft in Illinois. You can put what is called a reverse prospect. Um, and I can tell you how many, how many potential buyers there are already looking for a home like yours before it goes live. And no, I cannot see the buyer. I only can see their public ID. But I can't see I'm a seller with my appointment, but there are about 400 people looking for a house like this. This is what I need. Number eight, you're going to send a follow up email. 
thank the, uh, the seller for reaching out. Um, you might take news what we talked about and then send them at the agency. Gotta send them something. Might also send in Illinois the lead based paint brochure and the radar brochure. You might send a residential brochure and by disclosure brochure and fair house. So, in your state, what brochures are you required to, to sell or buy? Number nine, depending on the client schedule, a virtual consultation and go over the market analysis. And I say depending because some people need to in person. Uh, I use uh, live CMA from Cloud CMA and it's interactive so you can watch me change the market. Um, number 10, this is this is everything I've already given you is what you start. Number 10, um, I'm recommending that you go to the home and use the listing to gather information. Our listing is about seven pages. But if you're like here, I don't want paper, you start the draft, you can open up the listing on your phone, on your iPad, or you can bring your computer and you can enter everything to yourself. The more information you have about the, the property, the better you will market it on Realtor.com, Premium Zillow, and all of the other websites that are out there. Then, number 11, create a form for the most recent updates in the last five years. Again, put the equipment at the top and then a date. Then you'll actually know, here's the benefit of this. Number one, you're professional. Number two, list the property and the buyer's agent calls and they're like, hey, Carrie, how old is it? Oh, they had to lose the place for 47. Full tear off. Like, you already have the information. You don't have to say, you know, that's a good question. I'll call you back. Nope, you can always got the information. Then number 12, create a form called. What made you buy your house and why did you love the area? Those are the Now, I didn't teach, tell you how to close the deal. That's really for another day. But if you do get the appointment, walk through the house, you can say to the client, now that I've walked through the house, ask the question, when do you want your house to be on the market? Oh, I want the house to be on the market. My, I, what I didn't say here would be my bonus. I'll call it a bonus, not number 13. My bonus would be walk through the house, whether it's on the back of the listing or another uh, form, write down everything you dream list of what you want the seller to fix. And call it, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, I'm going to do real estate industry dream list of what we need to do. I'm saying that because you really want to call it your girl, you know you need to do household list, but we're going to come up with a better name. So. Right now, as you're walking through the house, oh, and this is what I didn't say earlier. The reason why you like want these two forms for those of you that are introverts, this form will help you help the seller. So old school carry, it's not, I have a clipboard, hand that clipboard to the seller with your handy dandy pen, say, can you fill this out while we walk through the house? Then it gives you some relief to keep them busy while they take but the bonus form would be that you write down everything you want them to do from fixing out the, the light face plates to updating the fixtures, replacing the carpet, painting the whole house, to cabinets, to eat out the refrigerator. Like go through the house and write down everything you know you need them to do. And it might mean they need to pack, it might mean they need to pull out furniture. And if you're like, write all this down, your number 14 bonus can be, I have a stager that I've worked with that I'm going to bring along with you. That way, you're not the bad guy. I literally had a client mad at me. So sometimes you don't want to be the bad guy. Um, and you might team up with another agent in the office and let them do it. So there's ways to manage that. And then at the end, you follow me at the end, sit down at the kitchen table. And it's really good not to go to a listening appointment dinner time, but I promise you we're going to put the coffee. So go around a time where people aren't, unless it's your friend. Right. So those are my tips. I will have the download available in my bio sometime today. I have an appointment, so I do before I leave at 1.30 or after. So for those of you that are listening to the podcast, see in my bio on Instagram. 
and also this time we're going to be on. So follow me on smartgirlmusic.com and on my podcast, which can 